first candidate for the United States Senate, and I'm from Rosemount, Minnesota, where, more importantly, I'm an economics teacher, still am. I won't quit my job, because we need more regular people to go and serve in our government. For all the reasons that we're pointing out here tonight, you just need to take your government back, and that's what we need to do. We've seen it all across the country. You know, we've got good, good people who've served. Uh, Dick Luger out of Indiana. He won't be going back, because the people rose up and put Mr. Murdoch in to run in his place. He'd been there for 36 years. That's too long. That's too long. So we, we can't afford to send people back time after time, folks. Uh, just this to give phenomenal. you phenomenal. And this is really how I win, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, because I do have one of those opponents who has $6 million. It is six. It's not four. It's $6 million. That's a lot of money. My mom actually think that that, thinks that's sick. She doesn't understand why that has to happen. Why, why in economic times when people are hurting, why do you have to go buy elections? I had a reporter ask me today on the phone on an interview, and Sam can attest he was driving me, and the reporter asked me, well, you don't have enough money to be here. And I said, do you really think that it's the money that matters in this country? You don't think the people matter? And I, I can snap a little bit sometimes. I, I've been a coach. I've taught 17 and 18-year-olds for 15 years. There's a reason why they always put me in the lunchroom. <laughs> you ever been in a lunchroom with 550 teenagers and two other adults? I, obviously, with just that right there, you know I'm the one to go to Washington, D.C. I mean, you're talking about young, young men and women who are absolutely going after it and standing up for the principles that we believe in. There is a future for this country. Our brightest days are yet to come, believe it or not. I see it every day in my classroom. I know they're out there. We talk about all these things. We talk about the debt. We talk about entitlements in my classroom. And sure, the kids look at it. And, you know, they ask me incredible questions the last 15 years. Mr. Bills, when's, when is too much debt too much? Mr. Bills, doesn't somebody eventually have to pay this back? Mr. Bills, kid, kid art to cat. Polaris jacket wearing guy who's working at Apple Valley Ford 30 hours a week. Mr. Bills, why am I paying into Social Security and Medicare when it's insolvent? That's a tough question. That, and this isn't a press conference, folks. This is 50 minutes. And these kids want answers. And your heart breaks for them. And that's why I got involved in 2008. I finally got to the point where one kid asked me, and some of you know this already, I had a kid ask me, Mr. Bills, what are we supposed that, to do? That's the basics of it. The national debt, you haven't seen anything. If you actually went by generally accepted accounting procedures, our national debt is $119.5 trillion. Now think about that, and some of you have heard me do this before. I always ask my kids in my class, the first day of economics, how long ago was it a million seconds ago? And I'm going to keep doing this all fall. Does anybody remember who has heard me, heard me speak before? One million seconds ago, when was it? Where were you? It was 11 and a half days ago. One million seconds ago. One billion seconds ago. And the kids go to work. You can see their minds spinning. They want to get their calculators out their cell phones. No, no, no. One billion seconds ago, it was 31.7 years ago. I was 11 years old. One billion seconds ago. A million seconds ago, it was 11 and a half days ago. It was July. A billion seconds ago, it was 1981, early. A trillion seconds ago, it was 29,688 B.C., one trillion seconds ago. Now, you say that to kids, and then you teach them about those numbers, and then they have all those questions. Do you see what I'm saying? Start quantifying it in your head. Use it with your friends. Talk to them about it. So, simply put, you know, it started, I'll, I'll, I'll end with... Uh, uh, Representative Torkelson was mentioning some bills that Governor Dayton vetoed, right? You just need to send the right bills to Washington, D.C. <laughs>